distance has lost its meaning. Whether you choose to ride up front in first-class luxury or aft in the economical custom coach, you'll find a spaciousness and stretch-out comfort that adds special pleasure to the wonder of vibration-free jet flight. And flying time is meal time too. But time is not the essence now. For no matter how fast that DC-8 jet mainliner of yours may fly, the quiet, restful flavor of the islands is traveling right with you. And if dining in the custom coach section is something special, and it is, then up forward in first class, it is a real occasion, an experience that once enjoyed will always be well remembered. Back on the mainland, the average day starts with a hasty cup of coffee and the daily rush to reach the office. But in the same time you'd spend between that morning cup of coffee and your noontime break for lunch, today you've crossed an ocean to the deep, rich green of tropic islands. When you first boarded Flight 87, it was already past midday, but you'll still have ample time for sunning on the beach at Waikiki before it's time to change for dinner. And in a few minutes now, you'll discover for yourself the true meaning of aloha and the warmth of a real Hawaiian welcome. Aloha Nui Loa. We're glad you're here to share the beauty of our islands. Some might think that those who come to Honolulu are more fortunate than other people, but not really. It's just that those nice people who work in the office right down the hall from yours and all the others flying with them have decided that now is the time this is the year, the week, the day that they would find their own world of beauty and adventure on their holiday in Hawaii. Wonderful Waikiki is the resort area of the city of Honolulu. And here in Waikiki is where hotels and palm trees meet the sea. To resist the lure of sun and sand even long enough to just unpack takes more than normal strength of character. Tropical anthuriums remind you that when it's always springtime, indoor and outdoor living blend into a gentle pattern and rare is the room without its own lanai that overlooks the panorama of sand and water with diamond head of painted backdrop in the distance. As you shed your city clothes, you shed your worries too. And mainland tensions are soon gone with the tropic breeze. The younger set can always find a Pied Piper friend to follow. The beach holds magic for the young in age as well as for the young in heart. And the sun is an old warm friend who is always at your side here on the sand, or relaxing with you at the pool of your hotel. And what at first might seem to be sheer luxury is really just expansive living, not expensive. And where it's June, 12 months a year, it's always outdoor weather for playing, or for resting, or for dining on your own lanai. And if even on vacation your gang still prefers the taste of mom's home cooking, well, you can find a perfect setup both for them and for her, too. No matter where you're staying in the islands, the same wonderful feeling of relaxation stays right with you like a faithful shadow. But when you make your plans for dining out, whoever you are, wherever you go, if you want that shadow to stay slim and trim, just a friendly word of caution. Every restaurant and hotel dining room in Honolulu has joined in a conspiracy to test your willpower. Appetites, sharpened out of doors, get razor keen when tempted by the master chefs. And it takes a good man or woman to keep the battle of the bulge from turning to a rout. And if you want to leave the beach for just a little while, it's only one short step outside your hotel door to Kalakaua Avenue and its attractive shops of Oriental and Hawaiian fashions. Here on Waikiki's Fifth Avenue 
even a staunch down east conservative can lose his inhibitions. And walking in like this, come out like that. The bright gay prints of island fashions, so perfect for that outdoor look of informality, and yet so easy on the budget, have brought Hawaiian styles to prominent positions in the mainland's finest stores. But though playing on the beach is fun, the greatest playground isn't ground at all. So lend a hand to launch that swift outrigger canoe. There are experienced eyes and arms to guide you and help you paddle smoothly out to join the others, out where the waves are rolling in. about riding the crest of a wave, this is really living. There was a time when surf riding was a sport reserved for royalty alone. But now even a Malahini, that's a visitor, can learn in just a single day how to stand on and how to ride a surfboard. The gentle art of perfect balance is the hardest part to learn. That board isn't quite as steady as it was back there on the sand. Hold it. Hold it. But then when it's time to catch a wave, suddenly there you are, feeling the thrill that comes once in a lifetime, the first ride in. Speed and balance and perfect poise make surf riding surely one of the most graceful of all sports. This little fella's got nothing else to do all day except run up and down the beach, begging for just one more ride. playground of the daytime, at evening, becomes a background for your pleasure, too. It's true there's magic in a tropic night, with many things to see and many things to do. So try that tropic white for size. Looks good. Or hurry out to meet your dates and see the sights. Perhaps Don the Beachcomber himself will help you solve the mystery of the elusive chopsticks and convince you it's the only way fine Polynesian morsels should be eaten. It might be slow, but the night is long and no one's in a hurry. Polynesian food, and later on a Polynesian fire dance while you sit and watch beneath the stars. When stars grow smaller in the sky, Sometimes the greatest fun of all is just talking over what you've done and making new plans for tomorrow. On one of those tomorrows, you'll probably be starting on your visit to the neighbor islands that are so close to Honolulu and yet so truly different that each one adds its own romantic charm to your holiday in Hawaii. Kauai, called the Garden Isle, is only 30 minutes from Honolulu Airport. Here in 1778, Captain Cook first landed on his voyage of discovery. And today you'll find the island of Kauai still in many ways unchanged. The sailing ships may have turned to flying ships. And swimming pools may dot the lawn where once a patch of taro grew. But the tropic air is still as gentle as it's always been, and the trade winds stir softly in the trees. The charm and old traditions of Hawaiian living blend smoothly with more modern concepts of comfort and convenience. Here, before your eyes, pages and full chapters out of some romantic South Sea Island novel take the form and substance of reality. 
and words of fancy and imagination are suddenly no longer merely words alone. For just outside your lanai screen, the bright hibiscus in the hair, the cocoa palms and still lagoon are very real indeed. And in this legendary land, it is only simple logic that the legends of the past should still be alive today. They tell the story that a spear tossed by a king bored right through that mountain wall and gouged out Great Waimea Canyon as it came to rest on the other side. They'll tell you too that this garden isle is favored by the Menahunis, the little men who worked by night to build fish ponds for the kings. And nearby you'll find the playground slide of ancient kings worn smooth as finest marble by the cool, clear water of a mountain stream. When you look down on the valleys of Kauai, you know how it earned the name of Garden Isle. Hanalei Valley is Kauai's vegetable garden, whose taro fields yield the makings of that island staple, poi. And all around us lies the sea, whose calm and well-stocked waters can give anybody's fishing tackle a real workout. But you won't need your tackle on the day a school of fish is sighted in the bay. Everybody in the village comes a wheelin' and a dealin', down to the beach to heave ho on the lines. Visitors and tourists and everyone in sight are recruited to help haul in a catch they hope won't be too heavy for the net. This is a hukilau, a community fishing party, the exciting Hawaiian equivalent of a New England clam bake. For a fisherman, luck can be good or not so good. But fortune's always smiling. In the evening, by the glowing embers of an outdoor fire, when a tribal drum sounds the call for dinner. It's nighttime in the islands, and you are really here. charm and pageantry in Polynesian dining, and always there is music. hopping tour, the wide view windows of the plane are really picture windows for photographers. The island of Maui, called the Valley Isle, is southeast of Oahu and is also only 30 minutes from Honolulu. By now you can be certain sure that there's a swimming pool at every stop and outside a waiting limousine. Island guides are a type all their own, a wonderful combination of historian, entertainer, 
infallible source of reliable local gossip, and incidentally, expert driver. Eau Valley winds its way between the mountains and past the 2,200-foot pinnacle of its famous needle threaded by a waterfall. In the fertile lowlands of this well-named valley island, fields of sugarcane nod gently in the breeze. Flowers line the road as it winds slowly toward the sea at Old Lahaina. Though once the lusty, brawling landmark of whaling fleets and trading ships, Lahaina has long since settled down to the more picturesque status of a charming plantation town. But Maui's greatest landmark lies a few miles to the south, the largest crater in the world, mighty Haleakala, actually a mountain almost two miles high from whose rim you can descend some 2,000 feet into a land of fantasy that makes it America's most unusual national park. Flying on toward Maui's Hana coast, the landscape passes in a series of moving picture postcards. The trip to Hana, when made by car, is no less spectacular on a road that winds along the seacoast into yet another almost private paradise. And some evening on the mainland, when you let your thoughts start wandering from the tensions and routine, then remember Hana and let them wander here. Once, only thoughts and wishes could have wings. But now, wherever they start flying, we can fly there too. Maui's next door neighbor on the map, Hawaii, is the Big Island, larger than all the other islands put together. There's nothing small about the Big Island, from its rambling sugar mills astride the coastal cliffs to the changing panorama of the Hamakua coast. At Hilo, Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa, in the distance, tower almost 14,000 feet above sea level. Although Hilo is the second largest city in the islands, it holds first place in the world for its fabulous outdoor orchid gardens, whose exotic blooms reflect all the varied colors of an earthbound rainbow. In the art of orchid laymaking, and it is an art rather than just a business, Vanda orchids by the hundred are strung into intricate designs. And it's really fun to enjoy the luxury of orchids without feeling you're the least bit extravagant. Orchids by the hundred. And at the famous orchid pool, orchids by the thousand. Nature still has the greenest thumb of any landscape architect. On any island, all roads soon lead to the sea. But only one road leads to Kalapana, where the rolling surf sweeps up upon a gleaming black sand beach. The road across the island of Hawaii takes you to the strange wonderland of a tropical fern forest, and then brings you to the coast again at Honau Nau, where Hawaii Ne.
And the only way to tell it's June or January is by looking at the calendar. The changes, though, have been but few since the Mission Church was built a hundred years ago. The whole town still goes faithfully on Sunday. And then on Monday, from flower-covered cottages, the fishing nets come out again. Down in coral gardens, a modern skin diver stalks his quarry like a visitor from outer space. Here is an underwater candid camera shot of a very well-known character, the one who got away. Well, for at least a little while. For every fish that's brought to Gaff, a larger one is waiting. A catch like that belongs in anybody's picture album. But when your ship comes in with that Marlin pennant flying, the album had better be the king-size variety. You've heard fish stories, but this is really seeing one. Another page of that snapshot album belongs to pictures of your first luau. The flowers placed on woven mats, heated rocks deep in a pit, are all a prelude to the delicious taste sensation of Kalua pig. That's roast pork in traditional Hawaiian style. There'll be lomi lomi salmon, pipikaula made of beef, breadfruit, yams, and lao lao. Strange sounding, but good tasting. You'll hear a lot of talk about that island delicacy called poi. Eating it with fingers is perfectly good manners. Poi is strictly an acquired taste, but once acquired, good. And then it's evening at Kona. A torchlight flickers in the tropic breeze, and on the beach a girl is dancing. And over at the hotels at Waikiki, there's moonlight dancing too. Nightlife here in Honolulu is more cosmopolitan than on the neighbor islands. Here, the culinary art of master chefs. Or, in an oriental tea house, delicacies prepared right at the table, in keeping with the honored concepts of Far Eastern hospitality. And always there's the hula. The graceful movements of the dancer's hands are describing for us now all the beauties of a farewell trip around this island of Oahu. The scenes described for us tonight are there for us to see from high up on the Nu'uanu Pali. And when it's time to think of parting, there are many things you will remember about your holiday in Hawaii. Some that can be seen and others only felt. And there are many little parts of this Hawaii that can be carried home exclusive items from the finest shops or homemade tokens offered by some friendly youngsters. But the part you carry home that will last the longest may be the recollection of a carefree smile, perhaps your own. And sunny days of leisure on the beach or in the surf, once taken, need never be returned. stroll along the quiet beach need have no ending and the still lagoon is always close at hand for here where trees blossom like the flowers and flowers bloom the year around time remains unchanged still unchanged just closer to you now than ever is that other nearby world of beauty and adventure in the lovely islands of Hawaii.